If you have a lot of filament, stop doing this. Because if your filament looks like this, then you obviously need to be better at OCD and the. Wait, let me try that again. OCD and the. O OC. It's honestly so bad. I really can't make any more prints until I organize this mess. Seriously. Every time I want filament, I always have to find the color and grab it. Oh, fuck. So, to fix this problem, Here's how I made a cheap filament spool rack in five easy steps. If you want to make one yourself, I've got what you need, so listen up. Because first, step one, design the brackets. In other words, make sure what you make won't break your shit. Of all places, I want to mount my filament above my PC. And I love my PC. We've been through a lot together. College, my first virus, League of Legends, I also live in California where the monthly rent for a cardboard box outside in and out will cost you five trips to Costco, so I definitely can't afford to replace it. Now, you could do some static analysis, throw in some FEA, make your part and call it a day, or you could take my word for it that this works. You can also use existing designs, there are tons available for free. I'll leave links to some of those in the description below. Step two, measure your space. Do you have enough room for the thing that you want to put in? I clearly don't since I'm building a death trap above my desktop. Oh no, it's broken! But if you're considering building anything, make sure that there's enough space and that you measure twice, cut once. I want my racks to be centered with my desk and I found some EMT that stands for electrical metallic tube that will do the job perfectly for a five foot long spool holder. Step three, fabrication. If you don't have a 3D printer, then what are you doing here? Just kidding. If you don't have a printer, phone a friend, use one from school or build this out of something else. Use the 3D printer to make four parts for each rack that you're going to build. Go to your local home daddy, pick up some EMT, these go for six fifty a pop, walk out with it. Just kidding. Here, I'm using a stud finder to find where I can mount directly to the wall structure. If you weren't able to mount your rack to studs, you can always use wall anchors, just make sure they'll be strong enough to hold the load. So unfortunately, I live in an apartment, which means that I'm not allowed to deface the property or else I won't get back my deposit. After measuring the height and drilling the holes on the same plane, it's time to mount the racks. Now we need to cut the pipes to size. Here, I'm using a tube cutter that I got off Amazon. Grab the 10 foot pipe, mark where you want to cut, then cut away. Now, step four. Validation. Does it hold one? Yep. Good enough for me. So now you're ready for the last and final step. Step five, just load them up. And now that I've completed these five steps, I am one step closer to building a massive collection of 3D prints for you guys. Share any suggestions on what you would like to see 3D printed. I've already got a backlog of recommendations that I'll get to once my setup is ready. But if you have something that you would like to see made, let me know and I will find a print for it. All right, well, thanks for watching. Keep stacking layers.